full time from the markets field and it's ended Treaty United nil, Cork City three and a brace from Aoife Cronin and one from Eva Mangan. So Cork City ends their women's national league campaign with a win over Munster rivals Treaty United. They finished the game with 10 players though after Lauren Walsh was sent off for second bookable offence in the 63rd minute. Cronin got her first goal four minutes from the break and in the 55th minute, Mangan made it 2-0. In the 66th minute, Cronin got her second goal and her side's third goal. This result means that bottom side Treaty United finished their league campaign without a win. Although Treaty had a nearly chance through Kelsey Wing, City dominated the first half four minutes in and Wing brought a good save out of Abby McCarthy. Down the other end, Christina Dring hit her effort wide while Cronin had a shot that went over. City forced a number of corners and as the game went on, created chances. Zara Foley came close to breaking the deadlock in the 80, 18th minute, while Mangan's shot was just wide in the 37th minute. They did get the ball in the back of the net in the 37th minute or 40 minutes, but Dring's effort was ruled out for offside. In the 41st minute, Cronin opened the scoring. Mangan's free was knotted down by a treaty player into the path of Cronin, and she made no mistake. City doubled their advantage in the 55th minute, with Mangan finding the back of the net with a fine strike. Danny Murphy's side were reduced to 10 players in the 63rd minute when Walsh was sent off for a second yellow. Despite that blow, City got a third goal in the 66th minute when Cronin lobbed treaty keeper Trish Hunt Fennelly Hunt. The home side were unable to make use of the numerical advantage. They battled hard but couldn't create much to trouble City netminder McCarthy as it ended at the markets field. Treaty United nil, Cork City three.